Hey, what's up all you do-it-yourselfers? My name is Dylan Taylor and this is Dylan's DIY Workshop and today we're participating in the 2017 Zombie Apocalypse Weapon Challenge and I made this out of a baseball bat and a hammer and I forged that and also hold on a sec temperamental zippo it lights on fire Um, So there's a piece that's busted off in here, so it'll never work as a belt sander again because you can't fix casts there it snaps. But, check this out. It blows a lot of air, which is good. And since this is in a zombie apocalypse situation, all the hair dryers are gone and same with leaf blowers and any other kind of blower. So, all we have is sanders. So we're gonna repurpose something that's broken, but we're gonna make it work. You know, I was going to tape it, and then I decided maybe not, because it's already blowing a decent amount of air in now. So, I'll start the fire up, test it out, and if it, if it needs to be taped because it's not getting hot enough, then we'll tape it. If not, we're ready to go. It better move all this outside so that the heat doesn't rise straight into the garage. So I was working away and I couldn't get the fire to start and then I realized that if I just turned the sander on it'd blow a lot of air and the fire would start up really quick. So we figured that out and it worked, got the fire going, got it really hot. I Later on, further down the road of this project, I figured out that I didn't need near as much wood to heat up the one hammerhead. All I needed to do was organize the wood in a proper manner so that the smoke went, or the fire went around and around and around, heated up really well, and then I had to put the hammerhead in the proper place, and then it was a lot easier.
So I just took some oil, and this is gear oil that I found in the shed. I, it looked like it was pretty old, but oil works nonetheless. So I took this oil, and I put it down outside of the, uh, the forge, and I took the hammer, and I tossed her in there. And it, 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 there was so much fire because there was a bit of the hammer still sticking out. It didn't cool down, and that was why there was so much fire. I was kind of concerned because any other time I had seen it done, the fire stopped as soon as you had the thing fully submerged, and I was like, uh-oh. But uh worked out just fine. And now it smells kind of like... It smells like spent oil, but I guess that's technically what it, it would be, I guess. I don't like the smell. Anyways. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I really did enjoy making this. And this was my first time actually forging anything. And it's also the first thing, like the first time that I've ever built a forge. I made a foundry one other time, but it was for melting metal rather than heating it up to forge it. This has like been two projects in one for me, making the forge, figuring that all out, and I can't believe that the sander worked so perfectly. All, out of all those things, I figured like that using the sander, that was kind of like zombie apocalypse, like I built a forge out of just random things sitting around the shop. Same with this, I had this t-ball bat sitting around my shop, and then same with the towel we just cut up, and then the hammerhead was just a broken hammerhead that I had always had. Now, this didn't get to be sharp like I wanted it to. I wanted it to look like an axe, and I wanted to round over the back end, but turns out it's a lot harder to forge than I thought. My fingers really hurt and the I don't have a proper anvil. That clamp or the vise is moving around a whole bunch. It was just a real pain. I, it really hurt that and bending down so much to put the fire on, stoke the fire, it kept getting fumes in my face, like in my eyes. My eyes were burning the whole time. And uh, anyways, I'm gonna come back to it. I'm gonna peel that hammerhead off of there, but for this, video this is as far as it's gonna go and it's still a weapon like that that's a pretty narrow spot is a blunt weapon and I'm assuming that in a zombie apocalypse you're gonna want a weapon that you're not gonna be able to cut yourself with which would be this you can't really cut yourself with this you can't injure yourself with this unless you strike yourself in the back with the teeth and even then I don't even think you can hurt yourself that bad with it so this is a weapon you can't hurt yourself with, but you can also deal a lot of damage to something else. So that would be this bit. And it's kind of lightweight, it's easy to wield. I think it would be a great apocalypse weapon. I'm gonna come back to it though, and I'm, I am going to make it into something that's really pretty, and that'll be a project a little ways down the road, probably after November's over, because I'm doing hobbies work, hub. Javi's workshop, Javi's woodshop, I don't know which one of the two it is. Um, he's doing a 30-day challenge, or not a 30-day challenge, November challenge. It's the almost impossible challenge. There's too many challenges going on right now. I gotta have another one done by tomorrow, so gotta gotta end this video and edit it. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. If you're already subscribed, please share this video with a friend. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, give it a big old thumbs up. We'll see you guys all next time. Peace out.